Hey, good morning, story time friends. It's Mr. Chase here, children's librarian at the Estes Valley Library. And today, we're going to read some stories and maybe meet some dragons. Ooh, I heard that there were some dragons out in this forest. And look behind me. If you look behind me, I found a dragon cave. I heard that there's a baby dragon that lives here, but I'm not so sure. What do you... What do you think he might look like? Let's, let's not wake him up. I have a story here called Purple Hair. I don't care. This is all about imagining. Hmm, let's imagine what this dragon could look like together. book has some really pretty pictures in it. Mrs. Della Raggin went to see Dr. Gray. She'd been feeling kind of funny in a funny kind of way. He checked her up. He checked her down. He checked her toe to head. Then he took her by the hand and this is what he said. There's a baby in your belly. How exciting, Della shrieked. Just a minute there now, Della. I'm not finished. Let me speak. There's a baby in your belly, and it might have purple hair. Ooh. Let's see, what do you think that baby would look like? Oh, jeez. <laughs> if it had purple hair. We got some purple hair here. Doink. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> didn't want to sit on. Let's see. Looks okay to me. Purple hair. I don't care. I'll love my little baby anyway. But there's more, the doctor said. There's a baby in your belly, and it might have skin of green. Skin of green? Oh, let's see here. What do you think green skin looks like? Like a snake? or some kind of reptile, scaly, scaly green skin on our baby with purple hair. Skin of green? I think that's keen. Purple hair? I don't care. I'll love my little baby anyway. But there's more, the doctor said. There's a baby in your belly, and it might have pointed ears. Pointed ears? Oh, let's see here. Let's give our baby some pointed ears. Doink. Doink. I don't know, what do you think? He looks pretty cool. Oop. Upside down. Pointed ears? No cause for tears. Skin of green? I think that's keen. Purple hair? I don't care. I'll love my little baby anyway. But there's more, the doctor said. There's a baby in your belly, and it might have yellow eyes. Yellow eyes? Hmm. Let's see what our baby would look like with some yellow eyes. Doink, doink. Oh, man. Matches his toes. I think that's a good color for our baby to have. Yellow eyes? No need for size. Pointed ears? No cause for tears. Skin of green? I think that's keen. Purple hair? 
I don't care. I'll love my little baby anyway. But there's more, the doctor said. There's a baby in your belly. And it might have breath that's smoky. Breath that's smoky. Oh, let's see. Let's give our baby some, some smoky breath. Poof, poof. Ooh, can you think of a, I guess since he's just a baby dragon, he only can breathe smoke. He doesn't know how to breathe fire yet. Breath that's smoky? Okie dokie. Yellow eyes? No need for size. Pointed ears? No cause for tears. Skin of green? I think that's keen. Purple hair? I don't care. I'll love my little baby anyway. But there's more, the doctor said. There's a baby in your belly, and it might have wings of blue. Wings of blue? Hmm. Now he's really coming together. Let's give our baby some blue wings. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wow. Wings of blue, whoop de doo Breath that's smoky, okie dokie. Yellow eyes, no need for size. Pointed ears, no cause for tears. Skin of green, I think that's keen. Purple hair, I don't care. I'll love my little baby anyway. But there's more, the doctor said. Hold it, doctor, Della sputtered. Please don't tell me any more. I'm already so excited, I might faint and hit the floor. But Della, aren't you worried, he carried on to say, that your baby will be frightful? Don't be silly, Dr. Gray. There's a baby in my belly, and it might have Purple hair? I don't care. Skin of green? I think that's keen. Pointed ears? No cause for tears. Yellow eyes? No need for size. Breath that's smoky? Okie dokie. Wings of blue? Well, whoop de doo And don't you fret, I won't turn pale if you tell me there's a tail. Oh, to you it might seem frightful, but to me it sounds delightful. And I'll love my little baby, come what may. Well, let's see if we have a tail. What if we put a tail on our baby dragon? Doink! Now he's all ready to go. He looks pretty cool to me. I don't know what that doctor's talking about. Are you sure now? asked the doctor. Poor half-blind old Dr. Gray. Yes, I'm sure, said Della Raggin. Then she winked Ooh. and flew away. Turns out old Della Raggin was a dragon herself. Old Dr. Gray, he couldn't tell who he was talking to, could he? It's perfectly normal for a dragon to have a dragon baby. Whoa, he's kind of invisible, isn't he? He looks crazy. We imagined him. We can see all of his features. There's his purple hair. There's his blue wings. Let's see. Well, you wanna go on an adventure with us, little dragon? Yeah, let's go. All right. One dragon went out to play on a bright and sunny day. <laughs> his tail fell off and he had such fun that he called for another dragon to come. Whoa, hey buddy. Hey, how's it going? Two dragons went out to play on a bright and sunny day. They had such enormous fun that he called for another dragon to come. Oh, 
this dragon is hard to see too. <laughs> but he's there. Can you see him? Oh. Three dragons went out to play on a bright and sunny day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another dragon to come. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Four dragons went out to play on a bright and sunny day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another dragon to come. Whoa, ho, ho. Five little dragons went out to play on a bright and sunny day. Then they heard the dinner bell ring. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. And they ran as fast as anything. Whoa, I guess they had to go. I don't want to miss dinner either, but maybe Miss Della Ragan was uh, cooking up something good for those dragon buddies. I think we could find another dragon if we keep looking through the forest. Let's, uh, let's go to another spot here. Let's see. Oh, we're walking through the woods. Really nice day outside. I can see why so many dragons are out playing. Oh, whoa. Do you see this cave? What do you think kind of dragon lives in there? Oh, oh, shh, quiet. Let's see it. Let's listen. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, I think there's a dragon coming. Oh, I hope he's a friendly dragon. Whoa! Oh, I'm a friendly dragon, big and tall. Here is my tail, and here is my claw. When I get hungry, I just growl. Look out, kids. I'm on the prowl. <laughs> hey, you seem like a friendly dragon, but please don't eat us. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me see here. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, I've got a, I've got this here to help out. Oh, oh. Mm, mm. Feed me. Oh, you hungry? Okay, uh, just, just don't eat me, dragon. Uh, what, what can I get for you? Mm, I would like uh, a bapple. A bapple? Uh, I don't know what that is, you guys. Can, can you guys help me figure out what the dragon's trying to say so he doesn't eat us? Uh, a bapple. What does that sound? Does that sound like something? Oh, oh, I think I know. I think I know. Is it an apple? Let's give him an apple. Uh, here, Mr. Dragon. Oh, bleh. that apple was delicious. I think now I want a flanana. Flanana? Oh, geez. What do you guys think he's talking about? What's a flanana? Could it be a banana? Oh, here, here, have this, Mr. Dragon. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Uh, oh, that was delicious. What a lovely flanana. It, okay, if you say so. Well, now I want a derret. A derret? Hmm. Can you guys think of something that he's talking about? This, I'm sensing to see a pattern here. Do you think he means a... Uh, Hmm. A carrot? Well, let's try. Let's feed it to him. Oh, that Darren was delicious. You've got so many good foods. How about a mean it flutter and telly? Oh, this is a tough one. I had no idea what he just said. A, a mean it flutter and telly? What do you think he's talking about? Hmm. Oh, what about a peanut butter and jelly? Let's give him that. Okay, here's your mean it flutter and telly. 
Uh, oh, that was so good. You know what I can really use now? Maybe to wash it down? It's some um, Florence Tooth. Florence Tooth? What? What did you want to eat? You guys coming up with anything? Because I don't have anything. Oh, what's that? Oh, maybe some orange juice? Let's give him some orange juice. Ah, that was delicious. Good Florence juice, extra pulpy. Oh, you know what I'd like for some dessert? Oh, what's that? What's that, dragon? Could I have some some pizza? Pizza. Hmm. That one's a little easier. I think I know what he's talking about. What about some pizza? Nom, 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 nom. Oh, oh yes, that was quite a delicious meal. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, do you, can you think of something you'd, you'd like to say, Dragon? Maybe for giving you all that food. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Dragon. Come by any time. We got lots of your favorite foods around here, like flanana and bapple and corn on the cob. <laughs> he didn't ask for that one, but he might next time. Well, got one last story to share with you guys today. Let's see. Ooh, look at the inside of this cave. You think there might be a dragon in here? I think if we find any dragons, they'll be a lot more inclined to hang out with us since we've got lots of tasty snacks for them. So let's take a look at this book. It's called George and the Dragon. by Chris Wormel. Far, far away in the high, high mountains, in a deep, deep valley, in a dark, dark cave, there lived a mighty dragon. He could fly higher than the clouds, and faster than all the birds. He could burn down a forest with a blast of his fiery breath. Whoa, look how big he is. He could smash a castle wall with a flick of his mighty tail. Whoop. Whoa. And he could brush away an army with a sweep of his monstrous wing. Whoa, we're no match for that dragon. There was nothing so fierce and so terrible as the mighty dragon. But he had a secret, a big secret. Well, actually a very small secret. He was terrified of mice. Which was a pity, because that very day, a mouse moved into the cave just next door. His name was George. Now, George didn't much care for the cave next door. It was cold and dark and drafty. The previous owner had been a bat, so the fixtures and furnishings were most inconvenient. Not, mice don't live on the ceiling like bats do. And the nearest cheese shop was miles and miles away. 
George was feeling rather miserable. And to make matters worse, he had no sugar for his tea. I know, said George. I'll just pop next door and see if I can borrow some. So he did. I say, you couldn't loan me a couple of lumps of sugar, could you? Asked George. Ah! Screamed the dragon. And fled. Oh no, groaned George. No tea then. But George did get his tea after all, with two lumps of sugar. And he got cheese, too, and nuts and berries and biscuits and crackers and cream, cheese sandwiches and jelly and ice cream and fairy cakes with pink icing and a cozy little hole in the castle wall. Beware of the mouse. That old little dragon doesn't look so tough hiding behind a mountain, does he? The end. <laughs> well, just goes to show you, sometimes things that look big and scary aren't really that big and scary. And maybe they're even scary to you. You know, like can you think of when you go out on a walk and you might see a, like a crazy animal? Well, that animal might be acting crazy because it's afraid of you, not because you're afraid of it or we should be afraid of animals. So. Let's remember to, to keep that lesson in mind. These dragon friends helped us learn. And we'll go leave them to their cave. Let's go back to the forest. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you guys next week. And um, keep staying tuned for more Storytime fun.